Hello, I'm Dr. David Allman. And I'm Dr. Kelly Mike. We're veterinarians and specialty surgeons. We've put together these six steps to lead you through understanding the dog knee, the ACL ligament, injuries that occur, and how to treat it. One of the things we'll be focusing on will be the TPLO, or tibial plateau leveling osteotomy, because this has been shown to have the greatest success for cruciate repair. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy. Hello and welcome. You've come to the right place. Six step overview of your dog's knee. We're going to focus on step number one in this video, but we want you to know that there's actually five other videos uh, to complete the series. Step number two is more about the function of the ACL or CCL. Step number three, how to make a proper diagnosis of a dog who has torn this ligament. Step number four, what are some treatment options for that tear? Step number five, why would we choose or recommend the TPLO? And step number six, what are some real facts about this whole process that we can trust based on scientific evidence and veterinary literature? So, step number one, the anatomy and function. All right, well, you might have heard that there are two terms here, CCL and ACL. That's purely an anatomic difference between humans and dogs describing the same ligament with the same function. So because dogs are four legs, we call it cranial. Humans are two legs, we call it anterior. These two pictures, I wanna give some ideas about the difference between the hip joint, which is the photo on the left, and the knee joint, which is the photo on the right. In the photo on the left, you can see that that hip is a ball and socket joint. They fit together very well, and much of that joint's stability comes from the fact that it is a ball within a socket. The photo on the right is the dog knee. That joint is like two pieces of bone sitting on top of one on top of the other without much inherent stability at all and thus the ligaments of the dog knee are very important for holding it together. Obviously one of the main ligaments we're going to focus on is the cranial cruciate ligament. In the photo on the left it's depicted here and in the photo on the right it's depicted by letters C and D representing the two different bands of the same single cranial cruciate ligament or ACL. There's other important anatomic structures here, and uh, of those, one is the caudal cruciate ligament, as seen on the left photo. Then we've got the lateral collateral ligament and the medial collateral ligament. Those are the four ligaments that help hold the knee together. This next photo is a diagram showing a side view of the knee, and with the red bar here, we have depicted the cranial cruciate ligament. That's the orientation in which it runs, and that will be very important as we transition into the next video to dis discuss some of the functions of that ligament. Thank you so much.